Hello and welcome to my May TBR. April has been a very busy reading month, what with Shardathon and also my reading challenge which I haven't finished yet but I am working on it and it will be with you soon, I promise. I'm so sorry, I know I've been working on this secret TBR for a while, <laughs> hopefully it'll be worth it. It's quite a long video, I might have to break it into two parts but all that to say, I want to give myself a slightly more achievable TBR for the month of May, particularly because I am going to be carrying over a few books from April, probably at least two or three, possibly even more. So I'm only going to be choosing six books in this video and I may end up reading more than these six but I want to prioritise these six and I also want to prioritise books from BIPOC authors. I've been doing pretty well with reading diversity so far this year, apart from in April. My Shardathon TBR was nowhere near diverse enough. I kind of got overexcited with the prompts and just picked whatever books fit and wasn't really being intentional enough with my choices. So I'm fixing that this month, I hope. So I'm going to choose four books from over here where my paperbacks are and then I'm going to choose two books, I think, from over where my hardbacks are. So let us see. The first one that I definitely want to read is The Conductors by Nicole Glover, which is a 2021 release and this one is, it follows two characters, Hetty and her husband Benji and there's magic, there is stories of freedom and I'm just, I don't know too much about this one but I have heard really good things already about it and I don't like to refresh myself too much about the plot of books before I go into them so I am going to be picking this one up in May so that's my first pick. Next I think I'm going to go for one that's been on my TBR for quite a while in fact I might do this with a couple of books actually this one is by Melinda Lowe uh, so Nicole Glover is a black author and Melinda Lowe is an Asian author and this is a Fae Cinderella retelling? I think. I know it's a retelling of something, I can't now remember if it's a retelling of Cinderella. Yeah, yeah it is. It's a retelling of Cinderella but with Fae. So that is my next pick and then I'm also going to choose The Tiger's Daughter by K. Arsino Rivera who is a Latinx author and this is an Asian inspired fantasy and honestly that's all I can remember about it but I've had it again on my shelf for quite a while. In fact I think I bought these two around the same time and I just haven't read them yet so and those two, by the way, are also queer, so that's exciting. And so I need one more from over here. Ah, yes. I am going to go with Meet Me at the Intersection, bar edited by Rebecca Lim and Amberlynn Kwaimalina, and it's a collection of memoirs, poetry and short fiction by writers who are First Nations, people of colour, LGBTQIA+, or living with disability, exploring life from each author's unique perspective and their intersectionality, hence the name Meet Me at the Intersection. So I'm really, I'm really interested to read that one, although I've just realised or just remembered I should say that I actually have two books by Melinda Lowe so 
I'm, I'll probably read one of these but actually this one is a dystopian a polyamorous story so I may end up swapping to this one but I'll definitely be reading one of these by Melinda Lowe and since this one has been on my physical TBR for longer I'm gonna probably read that one but I might swap to this and I'm just realizing that I really also would like to read see this is what always happens <sighs> I would also really like to read Unwind by Neil Shusterman and I know that I have the audiobook for this one coming through so I'm not going to put it in my on my official TBR but there's a pretty good chance that I will also read that one in May but the the four books from over here that I'm choosing are Ash by Melinda Lowe, Meet Me at the Intersection which is an anthology the Tiger's Daughter by K. Arsenal Rivera and The Conductors by Nicole Glover and now we're going to head over to the other side of the room to pick some hardbacks. Okay here we are. So I definitely want to read Amari and the Knight Brothers by B.B. Alston which is a middle grade story about a girl named Amari presumably, yeah, whose brother has gone missing and she finds a clue as to his whereabouts and so has to go to a magic school to try to rescue him, track him down, something along those lines. I've heard such amazing things about this book. My hold at the library is it actually came through and I had to push it back a bit because I just didn't have time for it in April but I'm hoping it's going to come through in early May so I'll be reading this one I'm very excited and there's so many good options over here but I think the one I'm going to go with is one of my more recent acquisitions and that is Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Booley because there's quite a lot of fantasy in there shocking I know and this one is actually a mystery thrillery type story yeah so the character witnesses a shocking murder and agrees to be part of a co covert FBI operation into a series of drug related deaths now this one is YA and I, I haven't always had the best relationship with YA mystery but the cover is beautiful and I feel like it, it's by an indigenous author and I feel like it's a good one to add to this particular mixture of books so that is going to be it those are the six books that I am putting on my TBR for May it's probably still too ambitious but oh well hello very quick editing me popping in to say that I actually forgot to mention a few books that I have to read so I will be reading The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson as part of the Cosmere Unbounded read-along of the Cosmere and I will also be reading the entire Hunger Games trilogy because Joanna from the channel Joanna Sosa and I are doing a buddy read of the whole trilogy and watching all of the films in the month of May and there is of course the Thoughtful Book Club book which is Empire of Sand by Tasha Suri. So that's another five books on top of the six that I already had so that's 11 plus the three that I have left as of right now which is the 25th of April for my reading challenge so <laughs> not such a small TBR as it turns out after all is it what am I like and that's it for this one thank you so so much for watching if you like this video and want to see more like this from me then do think about hitting that subscribe button and I hope to see you here again soon thanks bye